What's going on, HC Nation? Hey, Zach Edwards here for another Game Design Wednesday. I know we've been holding off on these for a few weeks. Uh, we just wanted to get some, we actually reorganized some of the pages or some of the chapters. So one thing that we wanted to do today is tell you about Albert uh, Lemours? Lemours? Uh, Lemour? I don't know. It's French, so I just don't know. Anyways, do you know this guy? Have you ever heard of this guy? Well, you should have. Because, let's see, boom, there we go. This is really cool. Albert Lamore is the guy that designed the game of Risk. So if you don't know the game, uh, Albert Lamore, uh, Morse, whatever, you'll at least know Risk. This is a game that's been all around the world. And what's really cool about it is this guy was not just some game designer. Yeah, it could have been. Anybody that would have designed Risk, you would think would be this big game designer. It's a huge success. Parker Brothers bought it. It went all over the place. But the guy actually didn't really care much about game design. He was in it just for the fun of creating something, which is a great idea, a great reason also. But he came up with this great process, this great program, and so he actually made the game and gave it, uh, sold it to Parker Brothers. But what's really cool about this is his full-time career. So he was a French film uh, director. That's right. So while he is directing films, he came up with this idea for a game, produced it, and continued on with his films. He was an award-winning game, or uh, sorry, uh, video photographer, video director, film director. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So why was he doing games? Because he had a passion for it. And that's all we all we ask. Someone that goes into game design, they need to have a passion for it. Do they need much more than that? No, not really. Because they're just having fun. They create a game that everyone likes. No brainer, they're gonna sell it if they want to continue with their uh, their regular career. They make a lot of money off it, and he probably made a good amount of money off it. Now, the interesting thing is what happened to him afterwards. Who here knows about Iran? Yeah. Not exactly the country you want to go visit right now. But back during his time, back in the 70s, Iran wasn't this really bad place to be. So it was actually a place where he was um, shooting film. And while shooting his last film, his plane crashed and he died. Also probably a reason why you haven't heard more about him as well, because... Um, yeah, he created Risk in uh, 57, that's uh, 13 years before. I don't know. Maybe you would have heard about him if he last, if he lived a little bit longer. Maybe you wouldn't have because it was sold to Parker Brothers. Yeah, a little control. So this week, we're going to go over a little bit more about Albert. There's actually a few more things that are really cool. Um, and we'll go over to uh, talk about some of the paths to the end goal, paths to um, in your game the paths that you're going to go through in order to get to uh, the end of the game. We're going to talk to you a little bit about the steps in here, and we're also going to go through an activity. So today I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Albert, because everyone knows his game, but nobody really knows him. So this is what we're going to be discussing on game design um, in our game design course. And if you look right now, uh, when I'm filming this, it's actually Saturday night. Um, I just got back from renovating a house that we're working on for another course. Yeah, it's a real estate, and it's a flipping course. Not a flipping course, a flipping course. Flipping houses. So that's actually gonna be another course that we're gonna be putting up there. And at the same time, I have help doing that one. This is my course. The game design course is one I've designed. So love to see you come join us on this. Oh, sorry, about the post that we just posted up. If you go on Saturday night, there's a post on there about a virtual tournament put on by Trace and Clayton. There is a contest as part of that post. And if you go on and you can guess where the image is from, like his, like uh, HC Jeopardy, Historical Conquest Jeopardy on Mondays, this one's on Saturday. You get a chance. And if you get the, the right event, we'll actually give you a free access to this game design course. Come out, trust, check it out, try it out. Get, you get to see the game that I'm designing for your graduation just for, now you have to actually purchase to get the graduation gift. 
but just for being part of this. So join the group if you don't win the contest. Join the group and you'll get that uh, game at the end. You'll also be able to create your own game in this whole process. So, so thanks again for joining me and we'll catch you next time. Take care. Have fun on this uh, Game Design Wednesday and hopefully we'll see you in the course. Bye. If you have any comments or questions, add them to the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you next, uh, we'll see you tomorrow actually. Take care, bye.